first I got this super. I got some new summer. Just got this dress. Okay, I'm obsessed. And this outfit. Love it. I hope this helps you pick up Nike and H&M are among major clothing retailers facing a backlash in China. The evidence suggests that China's cotton crop, which uh, makes up a fifth of the world's total supply, could be far more dependent on forced labour than was previously thought. Hello, I'm Elle and welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to address the issues of fast fashion made by slave labor through a decolonial abolitionist lens. We'll explore how this problem is deeply rooted in systems of oppression and exploitation and discuss the steps we can take to bring about meaningful change in the fashion industry. So let's dive in. Fast fashion as we know it refers to the rapid production and turnover of trendy clothing and accessories. While it may be one of the most profitable industries in the world, it also really has a dark side. The industry relies on low wage labor, often in the global south, typically understood as underdeveloped countries, where workers are exploited and forced into dangerous and unhealthy conditions. This reliance on slave labor is a moral and ethical crisis affecting millions of people across the globe every single day. And you may ask why? And so here comes the truth. Garment workers in the fast fashion industry endure inadequate wages, grueling 12 plus work days, and are subjected to physical and verbal abuse. Yeah. And wages are so low, they even struggle to afford food, let alone sending their kids to school. And this really traps them in generational cycles of poverty. And there's really no way of improving their lives with their wages. And shockingly, shockingly even some workers are forced into the industry through human trafficking and work against their will. So slave labor is like super profitable for brands to lower costs and it allows them to effectively compete better in the global trade agreements they're in. And despite efforts to eradicate slavery and forced labor, these issues continue to persist. As consumers, we really do have the responsibility to understand the impact of our, of our purchasing decisions and demand transparency and like ethical fashion practices from companies. But the fashion industry really does need a complete makeover because no matter how much we know about the harmful effects these brands have, systemic change really is needed. And a key element in achieving holistic, wide-reaching systemic change in the industry is by having a decolonial abolitionist lens when analyzing and understanding the industry. I think this really allows us to understand fast fashion for what it is, so that when it's made by slave labor, it's really bad and it comes from oppression and exploitation. And this way of seeing fashion also starts to the fashion industry is linked to systems of colonization and exploitation and oppression. And that addressing these issues requires a radical and systemic transformation of the industry. And it also argues that the exploitation of workers, particularly those in the global south and the destruction of the environment are not simply byproducts of the industry, but are intrinsic to its operations and are rooted in colonial and imperial histories of exploitation. But what exactly is abolitionism? So abolitionism is a social and political movement with a long history dating back to the 19th century. 19th century, but it can go further than that as well. And it's basically a movement that seeks to end the exploitation of vulnerable communities and to promote equality and justice for all. You may know prominent activists like Frederick Douglass and Harriet Tubman who fought tirelessly to abolish slavery in the United, in the United States, but today abolitionism remains crucial as ever as slavery and forced labor continue to persist in a lot of different ways worldwide from human trafficking to forced labor and supply chains modern day slavery still demands our attention in action and through an abolitionist lens we can really work towards a future where all people are treated with dignity and respect and where slavery and the fashion industry is finally abolished once and for all wouldn't that be great but let's first explore decolonial abolitionist solutions to address the issues in the fast fashion world. So decolonial abolitionism refers to a crucial and political perspective that engages the legacy of colonialism in the industry and aims to abolish exploitative systems such as slavery and indentured labor and sweatshop labor and the production of clothing. It also seeks to dismantle power structures that 
perpetuate this oppression and domination and quality we feel in the industry while reclaiming cultural heritage and identities and knowledge. It also envisions a fashion industry that's equitable and sustainable and centered around justice and dignity for all workers and communities. And to move towards this vision, we must put an end to slave labor in the fast fashion industry. And this requires an understanding of the root causes of forced labor, which is colonialism and capitalism, which continues to perpetuate poverty and lack of opportunities for the majority of our society. So let's examine some of the key factors contributing to slave labor in the fashion industry. So number one is poverty. Many workers in the fashion industry come from poverty-stricken areas where they have limited access to education, job opportunities, and basic resources. This makes them vulnerable to exploitation and forced labor. Number two is lack of regulation. In many countries where the fashion industry operates, there are limited laws and regulations to protect worker rights and ensure fair wages and working conditions. This creates a conducive environment for exploitation and forced labor. Number three is globalization. The globalization of the fashion industry has led to decentralization of production and outsourcing of labor to countries with lower labor costs. This has resulted in lack of transparency and accountability in the supply chain world, making it easier for companies to get away with their harmful effects and to exploit workers and make them engage in forced labor. And number four is weak labor protections. In many countries, workers are not protected by strong labor laws and really have limited access to legal solutions to exploitation and forced labor. This creates a very much power imbalance in the workplace and it makes it easier for companies to engage in unethical labor practices. And number five is demand for cheap fast fashion. The demand for fast fashion characterized by its obviously low prices, its rapid turnover and ever increasing supply of it has really created pressures to continue their very bad practices and to continue to make a lot of money by exploiting people and using forced labor in the supply chain. Addressing these root causes requires systemic changes, including strong labor laws and protections, better enforcement of existing laws, increased transparency and accountability in the supply chain, and a shift to consumer demand towards ethical fashion instead of fast fashion. I really deeply appreciate you watching this video because it's crucial that we address the problem in the fashion industry and to work towards a future where every individual is treated with dignity and respect that are free of chains of slavery. And by adopting a decolonial abolitionist perspective, we really do have a chance to challenge the structures that enable injustices and strive for lasting change. It really is important that we recognize our power and our sense of responsibility, but that shouldn't end there. We must also engage in activism and advocate for stronger regulations to protect vulnerable individuals from exploitation. It really is vital to support organizations as well that are actively working to end slavery and forced labor, whether through donating, volunteering, or spreading awareness about their initiative. I have some great resources in my description box, so I would definitely recommend you looking at those because together we can create a world where no one is subjected to the horrors of slavery and where all people are treated with dignity and respect. Together, we really will build something great. Thank you for joining me in this really important conversation. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel to continue to see ethical fashion videos I upload every Sunday and would love for you to be part of my community. Hope to see you next week. Peace and love, L. <laughs> my God, my hair looks terrible. <laughs> it's so rainy outside. My hair's so frizzy. Okay, bye. <laughs>